What's up everybody, I'm Matt Brody and I am super pumped because in about three weeks, I'll be leaving on my SCAR trip. The SCAR is the South Carolina Adventure Route. It's about 1100 mile loop around South Carolina. It's rural roads, it's dirt, mud, gravel. Uh, it takes you all the way from the coast to the mountains. It's gonna be an awesome overlanding trip. And what I wanted to do before we get to that point is start sharing some of the gear and some of the products that I'm gonna be bringing with me that I think you'll find really helpful. And it might surprise you what I've picked to bring with me. Uh, I'm not a gazillionaire, so not all the products are gonna be super pricey. In fact, a lot of the things that I'm gonna be using, you'd consider to be budget-friendly alternatives to some of the name brands that you're typically seeing. So I wanna share some of those with you, test them out, and uh, let you see exactly what I'm gonna be bringing with me. So to kick this off, we're gonna start with traction boards. Now I went with a different kind of traction board than you've probably seen. I went from a company called Bunker Industries. I got these from Victor Off-Road USA. These are a little bit different traction boards than you're probably used to, and I'll explain why I went with these instead. Because I don't have a lot of room, every piece of gear that I carry along the SCAR has to be either critical or dual purpose, and that's why I like these traction boards. But before I show you the traction boards, let's take a second to admire this font, because, well, let's just face it, it reminds me of another font, it's near and dear to my heart. So this is my set of Bunker Industries mini traction boards. Now, these traction boards are substantially less expensive than some of the name brands. I've got a set of ARB traction boards that cost me about $300. These cost me right at $66. And uh, so you could buy four sets of these for the same price as one set of the ARB traction board. So you could have a whole set, you could have a set for each tire for the same cost as the ARB traction boards. So let's start at the top. Exactly what is a traction board? Basically the idea is if you get stuck, you can shove these underneath the tires and they provide traction and so that you can get unstuck, right? Like hence the name traction board. It's a board that provides traction, right? Now until recently, I didn't even know that small traction boards like this existed. I was actually watching a video from Ozark Overland Adventures. Absolutely great channel. If you are interested, you've got to watch their stuff. I will link it to you right here. Great battery reviews, all kinds of stuff. But he was building out his Jeep Gladiator and on the rack behind him, I saw these like little half boards and I went, oh my gosh, those are perfect. I need to get a set of those. You might be asking yourself, why would he get a set of traction boards that are smaller? Well, I'm glad you asked. And the reason is because I have this, it's a YJ. And a YJ basically stands for old small Jeep with open differentials that likes to get stuck. Not really, but the idea is that the YJ uh, is more likely to get stuck than maybe some other Jeeps because it has the open differentials. So traction boards are important. Now the reason I went with the small ones is because it's a small Jeep. There's not a lot of room, particularly with the back seats in. And because there's not a lot of room, Storing something like these full-size traction boards is really difficult. It takes up almost the entire length of the rear bed. That's without the back seat in it. With the back seat, there is zero place that I can put this. So if I just wanna go with the kids out on some dirt roads and have some fun, not necessarily go camping, I've got no room for these unless I somehow strap them to the back of my tire like this and basically create a traction board sail behind me, which really is a no-go. These, on the other hand, are much smaller, much lighter, and can fit anywhere in the Jeep, even with the back seat in. I can just slide it right in there. It also fits really well on top of the wheel well here, so no matter where it goes, I have easy access to it. Yeah, try doing that with your full-size traction boards. So as you can see, these traction boards come in a very convenient carrying case making it easy to take out from just about anywhere and uh, no straps to undo, no bolts to undo, just grab and go. So for the type of off-roading that I do, these smaller traction boards should actually be really handy. They stack really well and uh, all I gotta do is throw one under a wheel and get myself unstuck. So my Jeep is basically stock height, which is stock for a YJ which is lower than, let's say, a new Jeep on 33s. So when I'm going off-road and I'm hitting holes or ruts or washouts or whatever, means I don't have as much clearance as maybe some of the newer Jeeps. 
So one of the places this really helps is being so small and easy to grab, I can use this to fill in some of those holes so that I don't have to worry about going quite as deep as maybe I would otherwise, and it kind of makes up for some of the lack of height that I have. And the reverse of that is also true. If I've got an obstacle that's a little too tall, this makes a great little step to help me get up to it rather than trying to do the entire obstacle all at once. So these boards are made with a reinforced nylon and Bunker claims that they're so strong that these teeth will not wear out even with excessive wheel spin, which is pretty huge. Now, some of the newer traction boards that you'll see have tried to eliminate that by putting in actual like metal nuts and bolts onto this to, uh, to keep these from wearing out, which I don't know about you. To me, that sketches me out. I feel like that's just gonna rip up my tire if I'm spinning a wheel on that. So I'm not really super excited about testing out that theory, but uh, hopefully these will in fact hold up to any wheel spin that I might put on them. But uh, I, they feel really tough and uh, I don't feel like it's gonna be a problem. And while we're talking specs, Bunker claims that these are both UV and chemical resistant, which means they're not gonna fade over time. I'm not super worried about it because I'm gonna be keeping them in a bag in the back of the Jeep, but if for some reason I end up mounting these to the side of the trailer, we'll see how that holds up over time. Remember earlier in the video when I said all of my gear had to be critical or dual purpose? Well, these Bunker traction boards have another trick up their sleeve that I wanna show you. So this set is actually a three-piece set. It also comes with this base pad, which for me is where the magic really happens. Now this, this is a really cool feature that I'm super pumped that they thought of, and this was the whole reason that I got these and that I'm gonna use these on this trip. So you can take this traction board along with the base plate, clip them all together, and create a single long traction board which is in fact several inches longer than a standard traction board. So by having this three piece set, I can actually conform the traction boards a little bit more to the obstacle that I'm trying to get over rather than having the traction board bend so much under the weight of the Jeep. Speaking of dual functionality, this isn't just for connecting the two boards together. The center base is actually designed to hold your jack stand up as well. So you've got more of a rectangular section here if you've got something like a high lift jack or a farm jack, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I use a bottle jack, which is round, which will fit right here in the center as well. And it's super beefy and it's going to hold up just fine. And I'm going to show you. So as you can see, the base had no problem supporting the weight of the Jeep. Granted, my Jeep doesn't weigh a whole lot. It's about 3,000, 3,500 pounds, but this thing is, that base is solid. It's not, it's not going anywhere. And if you couldn't tell, it's been raining a lot lately, so the ground is actually really muddy. And so without this, that bottle jack just would have kept getting pushed right into the ground and it would have been a disaster as it is. A little mud, but perfectly fine otherwise. And again, speaking of dual purpose, you can always stack. So if you need some extra support, if it's really muddy, you can use the actual board as a base plate for the base and use it this way and uh, give yourself all kinds of surface area to push out instead of a smaller surface area. So another great use for these traction boards is actually leveling out your vehicle or in my case, your trailer with the rooftop tent, making sure you get it all nice and flat. That way you're not sleeping all crooked and that's just no fun. So in this case, I stacked two of them and just like that, we're level. So just a couple other little things to go over. It does have handles to make it nice and easy. You can use it like a shovel if you have to, if you're in sand or something like that, need to dig it out a little bit in order to get this under the tire. It can totally be used for that or snow. If, uh, if you're in more of a snowy region, we don't get snow here. So don't expect any snow traction board videos from me. So one thing I almost forgot to mention is that not only does the front have the tread pattern, but also the back. So either side of it has that same sort of studded grip, which is definitely not the case with the ARBs. The ARBs have sort of a smooth back versus this. I imagine this is gonna slip less if it's in mud or loose sand or something like that because it has grip on the bottom as where this just doesn't. All right, well, that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. Uh, it's pretty hot out here. I'm starting to hear some thunder now. So I'm probably gonna have to take shelter fairly soon, but I'm gonna be giving these, uh, these mini 
bunker traction boards, a thorough thrashing, I imagine, when we're on the SCAR. So stay tuned, we'll do a full review after, just to kind of see how these ended up doing, but uh, I think these are gonna end up doing really, really well. I will leave a link in the description down below where you can get these. I got these again from Victor Offroad USA, so it's not an Amazon affiliate link or anything like that. So you are free to go do what you will. But uh, anyway, thank you so much. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe so you can check out the entire SCAR adventure that's coming up in just three weeks. So don't delay on that. And uh, anyway, keep us in your prayers. God bless, and we'll see you in the next video.